Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Avada, Mayor of Bull sorry, Bayside Council, and here is a recap of the council meeting that took place on 12th of May. It started with an eye-opening message from the Reverend that we're not gods. Yes, I agree, so do not expect miracles from us. At the beginning, there were ambassadors, Peter Poulos, no, not the dentist, but a former Rockdale counselor, and Christina Curry. Some pictures for you to enjoy whilst I'm talking. For once, we have decided to actually do some work, and this guy showed up again, Mr. Brownbill. I think he realized that I have muted his mic last month, so I could not use this trick again this time, as that would be too obvious. We bought up the addition of $400,000 that is being overspent on mistakes Gardener Park and overall going $1 million over budget with that project. This guy had to tell him to stop asking questions to which he asked me to stop talking during his allocated five minutes. Made me out to be the root that I am and all of us look incompetent and frankly dumb. A significant part of the meeting after that was spent on the discussion of the unsolicited draft planning proposal for 1 to 13 Boulevard in Brighton the Suns, submitted by Councillor Ibrahim's brother. Council was to give away the existing car park, rezone the land to accommodate a 75 meter monstrosity in return for 200 plus parking spaces. All seemed fair income given the problem of parking in the area, but for many other good reasons, planning officer and community, except the state agent, Navatal owner, and a few dodgy looking guys whom you would not want to walk into at night, were all against this f***ed proposal, which confused the sh** out of Najee. Really, you may think that we don't know what we're doing, and you will be right. No one could understand what the Sunnis was advocating. He seemed to have been unsure for and against the proposal all at the same time. One thing was for certain, the youth cannot count. Apparently the proposed 75 meter two tower structure is only 50% more than the 28 meters. That is the current zone height limit. More like 150%, but obviously math is not his strongest side. Most of the liberals wanted the development to go ahead, referring to the need for more parking and the master plan, of course, which the council has received back in April 2021 and did nothing about. I suppose we shot ourselves in the foot there, and despite the liberal Bastards trying to clinch onto a straw here. Everyone voted against the proposal at the end. So rhetoric, common sense prevailed, and your brother will not make a few million bucks from this. But I hope you like the flowers that I gave you for the birth of your daughter. Then we looked into installing speed humps in a quiet street where they're not required or wanted by residents, many of whom have not been informed of the upgrade. Where else would you install these? Surely not in the areas that are suffering from speeding and hooning. No, because we are a bunch of and we're only happy to help the state government when it up causing traffic chaos on local streets by tolling up of the previously untold empire. And if for a good old state government grant, you know, even enacting the most tough idea ever. Slowing the traffic on local streets down on purpose to make these streets less attractive for traffic flow in a home that the traffic stays on the toll and five. How is that for an ingenious plan by the state? But hey, with our help, it may work, so better top up on those transurban shares. You can vote on Bayside Council's website whether you think the grant is hush money from the state government, it is dangling a carrot or dangling a rabbit. Najee voted for the last one three times at the meeting. Then I closed my eyes, and when I opened them again, I thought I was at the Jerry Springer show. Said drug was mocking Poulos. Poulos was telling him to shut up and comparing him to her nine-year-old. And the two of them are from the same kindy, I mean, political party, so unprofessional. Then we've approved over three million dollars worth of contracts. Nothing dodgy here, but just in case we've held all the tender information as confidential, apart from who won the tenders, of course. Maybe we should have filled that as well. Also included is the $400,000 per annum three-year contract to supply and install hardware chips. There was only one tender, but hey, officer recommended it, so it must be okay. And we have saved the best for last at the end of proving road closures for Ramadan and Easter service at St. Catherine Greek Orthodox Church. That is both events that have already taking place a week or so ago. Hilarious. And don't bother trying to find this part in the minutes of the meeting. We do not include our fuck-ups in there. So as mentioned at the beginning, don't expect miracles from us. In fact, don't expect anything. Until next time, thank you.